welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 musicians that failed to make a comeback. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable times solo artists or groups tried and failed to get back in the spotlight. We'll include musicians who went on to have successful careers after failing to make a big return. Which artist do you think made the best comeback? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Doors Various When Jim Morrison died in 1971, it came as a huge surprise to both his fans and bandmates. Touch me, babe. Can't you see that I am not afraid? Remaining members Ray Manzarek, Robbie Krieger, and John Densmore continued on without him until 1973. They also managed to reunite for a handful of shows over the years, but none of their solo projects or new combinations really got any traction. Why do you have to do it? Why are you such a fool? I can't resist to try something new. In 2002, Manzarek and Krieger attempted to take a bigger step forward and revive the band with Ian Astabury of the Colts. While they tried to tour as the Doors of the 21st century, they had to change their name for legal reasons. They continued on until Manzarek sadly died in 2013. In a heartwarming tribute, the surviving members reunited to pay tribute to him. Our heart's in it. Let's just do it. Number 9. Jerry Hallowell, Half of Me Jerry Hallowell made her mark on the world as the Ginger Spice within the pop sensation known as the Spice Girls. After enjoying a few good years with the troupe, Hallowell struck out on her own. Her first two albums and singles like It's Raining Men were relatively successful. It's raining men. It's raining men. Unfortunately, Hallowell couldn't keep up that momentum when she returned with new music in 2004. Following the failure of her third album, the musician reunited for a few Spice Girls events before trying to make a solo comeback in 2013 by releasing the single Half of Me exclusively in Australia. After admitting on her own blog that it wasn't a great comeback, she moved on from her solo pursuits and found success in areas like writing. Number 8. Stone Temple Pilots – High Rise when Stone Temple Pilots released their debut album, Core, the group was launched into superstardom. Like a hand their sensational songs and unique sounds solidified them as a standout act among many. But a year after their fifth album, Shangri La Di Da, flopped, Stone Temple Pilots split up in 2003. The band tried several times to make a comeback over the years. However, Scott Weiland's public and private disputes with the band cut his tenure short. And although they started to gain traction again with Chester Bennington in 2015, he left after two years to focus on Linkin Park. Stone Temple Pilots managed to push forward with a new singer. However, they haven't flown quite as high as they once did. Number 7. Smashing Pumpkins – Zeitgeist In a time where grunge music reigned supreme, Smashing Pumpkins emerged as an alternative to the alternative rock sound people were being bombarded by. Judy is the Both Siamese Dream and Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness made huge impacts on modern music. The latter went 10 times platinum in the United States. But by the turn of the century, the band had parted ways. Seven years later, lead singer Billy Corgan reformed the band with only one other original member appearing. When this new formation released the album Zeitgeist, they didn't quite get the reception they had hoped for. The tracks had an equal number of fans and detractors. After this disappointing return, the band was never quite the smashing success it once was. Number 6. Led Zeppelin – 1985's Live Aid While Led Zeppelin once climbed the stairway to heaven to success, they've stumbled over a few reunion attempts. When 
When the surviving members came together to play Live Aid in 1985, they brought on musical heavyweights like Phil Collins and Paul Martinez. But the performance didn't go well. Not only were there multiple instrument and technical issues, but the band apparently wasn't in sync with their great guests. A 1988 reunion later suffered from sound problems and a disagreement between lead singer Robert Plant and Jimmy Page about the set list. Since their frontman had been reluctant to do more with Led Zeppelin over the last 20 years, the chances of a great return are unlikely. Number 5. Kiss – Sonic Boom What does a band do when they want to relaunch their musical career? Why, they just make their three-disc album a Walmart exclusive. That was the story behind KISS's 2009 release, Sonic Boom. The album was actually well-received and achieved huge chart success in its opening release week. But despite critical praise, the band had sold less than 250,000 copies of their work by the end of the year. It's unclear whether it commercially flopped because two of the three discs included were compilations of their previously released songs or if Walmart was the issue. Either way, the band eventually stopped making albums four years after Sonic Boom dropped. Number 4. Pink Floyd – A Momentary Lapse of Reason since Pink Floyd has sold a quarter of a billion records, it's fair to say that they're one of the biggest rock bands of all time. But they ran into a definite rough patch after co-founder Roger Waters had a very public falling out with the rest of the band. After he left, guitarist David Gilmour took the reins of the group and released a new album in 1987. Time, time. The critical consensus around the album was that it sounded like an imitation of Pink Floyd's sound. While their follow-up, The Division Bell, had more financial success, it didn't win every critic over. It seemed like the absence of Waters had a profound effect on Pink Floyd's trajectory. The grass was green. Number 3. Vanilla Ice – Hard to Swallow after taking his early rap career to the extreme with hits like Ice Ice Baby, this musician was riding high. All right, stop, collaborate and listen. Ice is back with my brand new invention. But his success didn't seem to last long. In 1991, Vanilla Ice released his follow-up album, Mind Blowing, to less than stellar reviews. After overcoming personal struggles, he tried to make another comeback with Hard to Swallow. This album was meant to combine elements from rap, metal, and more into one package. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla Ice's fusions of sounds didn't manage to light the world on fire. Although he made a few more attempts to reclaim his former glory, neither fans nor critics stood behind his newer efforts. I go wherever you go, baby, you know me and you. Now let's go, come on. Number two. Limp Biscuit, Gold Cobra. Limp Biscuit's significant other album launched the group into the stratosphere of metal mania in 1999. However, they've continually struggled to regain their high position. Their Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water album had great sales but bad reviews. Tell me what you're gonna do now. After more musical efforts failed to impress, the group took an eight-year hiatus. Limp Bizkit then returned to release two albums ten years apart. While Gold Cobra had a mixed reception, their Still Sucks album in 2021 couldn't help keep them rolling up the charts. It's now unknown whether Limp Bizkit will ever replicate their 90s success. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications.
Number one, Guns N' Roses, Chinese Democracy. It took 15 years and 14 band lineup changes to get the Guns N' Roses album Chinese Democracy across the finish line. I know it's called the Street of Dreams, but that's not stardust on my feet. After the project was first hinted in 1994, a series of delays and production issues pushed this work into the next century. Unfortunately, it wasn't worth the wait for everyone. Critics were pretty split down the middle about the album. And despite selling millions, the sales were still underwhelming for the group. The fact that Chinese Democracy was initially a Best Buy exclusive didn't help matters either. As of 2023, there are no signs that fans will ever see a new Guns N' Roses album. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.